Ever since my Harper's Bazaar Go To Bed With Me video came out, you guys have been asking for my body's skincare routine. So guess what, you guys? I'm gonna do it. So you might be wondering what's the point of having an elaborate body skincare routine, and it's not actually elaborate. I just like to add in those extra couple of steps that you would do basically for your face. And I also like to buy really nice products that are for my body as well. And it doesn't mean that they have to be expensive per se, but I do like to focus on nice ingredients for my body skincare. And I will tell you guys, I have been focusing on my body skincare routine for a very, very long time. Back in the day when I was younger and I was dating and stuff, I'm married now obviously, I used to pride myself when I'd be dating like a new guy. and. Finally, he'd like it to touch my arm or like my leg or something. And he'd always say, your skin is so soft. And, and I'd be like, I know. So I really did that. I used to pride myself on my really, really soft skin. I have super soft skin still all over my body. You can also have a lot of skincare issues on your body as well. I've dealt with acne, for instance, ingrown hairs in the places that you shave, weird like bumps that start to pop up all over your skin. Those are things that you can deal with with your body. So you have to take care of the skin on your body just as much as you do with your face. All right, so a few things about body skincare. I don't take as much time on my body as far as the actual amount of skincare products that I'm using on it Mostly because I've spent so much time here and at the end of the day I don't want people to start feeling overwhelmed by the thought of like having to have also like this huge separate routine for their body If you just cleanse your body and use moisturizer every night, you'll probably be fine But you guys know I love skincare So I like to take it up a notch but a couple of things I like to treat the skin on my body just like the skin on my face But there are some differences the skin on our body is a little bit tougher. It's not as exposed as the skin on our face and we don't have the pores that we have on our face so it's a little bit different I guess it's easy to just say it's like tougher skin so I'm not opposed to things like scrubs I will throw out there though I don't use any of my body skincare products on my chest and my boob area just because I do consider that if you guys know me I do consider that to be pretty much part of my facial skincare routine so the products I'm going to show you I tend to use mostly on the rest of my body all right, so I obviously always use some kind of a body wash. Right now, the one I've been using is by Walita. It's their Evening Primrose Creamy Body Wash. I like this one because it has a very subtle scent to it. I guess I'm always like trying to find different types of scents, especially when it comes to my body wash. I like scent in my body wash. It's gonna rinse off my body anyway. It's got like a cardamom scent to it mixed with the Primrose Flower Extracts. I've always been interested in Primrose just because I feel like it's really good for your skin and I haven't really quite put my finger on what it is about Primrose. A lot of people will say that it's good for like your hormones and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna get into all that kind of stuff because I haven't done the research on it. I think the real big thing to know about this is it's creamy, it's hydrating, and I like it to have very gentle surfactants, and it's just like the cleansers I would look for for my face. I want something to be gentle. Next up, and this is actually one of the key points in my body skincare routine, I expect exfoliate my body skin. And I feel like that's a part of the body skincare routine that people miss. And the one I've been using a lot lately is by Necessaire. This is kind of like my grown up adult version of basically like the clean and clear face scrubs and like the St. Ives and stuff that I used to, I used to buy and actually use on my body. I say the clean and clear because they have like the salicylic acid in it. And anytime I got like breakouts or ingrown hairs or anything like that, that's what I would do. I'd basically go buy some kind of drugstore acne face scrub or something. Something I would probably tell you guys to never use on your face anymore. I definitely used to buy it and use it on my body. I'm actually just about to finish this one. It's their eucalyptus scent. And then moving on to this one, which is their fragrance free. I've been trying to stick with like the fragrance free type of body products. I know the body wash had a scent to it, but I'm moving more towards like the fragrance free body skincare products, mostly because now I'm starting to find those types of products. I got a whole delivery from Necessaire not too long ago. So I'd been using a lot of their products and I really like them. And the reason why I like this scrub, you guys, is because it's not just a physical scrub and it's actually a really gentle physical scrub. It's got pumice stone in it and bamboo charcoal and that has a lot of the exfoliating properties. I was getting these white bumps all over the backs of my arms and I felt like I really needed exfoliation. And what I love about this is it has glycolic, salicylic, and lactic acid in it and it feels just really nice. So the way I use it is I just kind of lather it up a little bit and I start to rub it very gently, you guys. Still be gentle. I like to rub it into the areas where I think I need it. So that's like my elbows, my the back of my arms, like I was saying. I really love to use a scrub on areas where you get like cellulite or potentially like stretch marks in any of those areas. So like my butt, like around my like lower abdomen area, my thighs, I really like to use a scrub and then I let it sit for a little while. The scrubbing is just really good for the circulation. It helps get off all of the dead skin that you get or anything like that, that roughness. But then the chemical exfoliators are kind of the key in this. I love that it has the chemical exfoliator 
exfoliators because you actually need that chemical exfoliation to help loosen up all that dead skin and anything that might be clogging any of the pores that are on your actual body. And I keep referring to my arms a lot because that is where I was really focusing it. And for the areas that you're shaving, this is gonna make it really smooth before I prep that area, help with any ingrown hairs that you're gonna get and stuff. And the different chemical exfoliators are also gonna help with all of that and soften the entire area and prep it for your shave. You'll also see better results afterwards too. You won't get as many ingrown hairs and everything. So I highly recommend using a scrub like this that has all the chemical exfoliators as well. Next up, and this is another part of it that I think is very key, and that is serum. You don't wanna miss the serum that you're putting on your body, just like you would use a serum on your face. Before I got the necessary scrub, I was obsessed, obsessed, and I still am actually. I just ran out of the bottle and I need to get a new one with the Ren Lactic Acid Serum for your body. Again, it's one of those things where you need to exfoliate the skin on your body as well, and I feel like we tend to miss that. So I really loved that serum, especially because I could use it while I was pregnant and while I was breastfeeding. And for, you know, if you're worried about things like stretch marks and stuff, it's really good to help exfoliate that area. And lactic acid also happens to be hydrating as well. So it's really a good combination for your skin. So I was using that. Like I said, I got a bunch of stuff from Necessaire and I really love that they have a body serum. One of the reasons why I think it's important to have something like this is if you think about it, you get out of the shower and the way I like to do things is I do all of my facial skincare first. So at that point, my skin is no longer really damp. So what I used to do was try to like spray a toner on my body and it was really a quick way to get that hydration back into my skin. But what I found is that my floor would be kind of like slippery afterwards and sometimes you could slip on it. So what I like about this is you're adding that hydration back. It's your humectant. It gets your skin nice and ready and prepped to absorb the next product that you're gonna put on your skin. So just like you use a serum on your face, this is awesome. You're using a serum for your body. This is like your favorite hyaluronic acid serum for your face, except it's even more than that. It has vitamins B3, which is niacinamide. You guys know I love that ingredient. I think it's just a wonderful vitamin for your skin in repairing it, stopping irritation. It helps to even out your skin tone. It's a wonderful vitamin to have in a body serum. And it also has B5 and it has ceramides to help repair your skin barrier as well. Cause we need to repair the skin barrier on our bodies a lot of the time too. And last is obviously body lotion. I feel like the lotion that I use on my body, I tend to want something that's a little bit creamy, a little bit richer. I have two things that I actually use on my body and one of them obviously is by Necessaire. This is their body lotion, it's fragrance free. I really love how nice and creamy it is. It absorbs into my skin really nicely. It's got a ton of vitamins. It has the vitamin A, the B3 that you guys know I love, niacinamide. I feel like you can't find that in any of your body skincare products. So it's really nice that you have all of those repairing vitamins. It also has vitamin C, vitamin E. So it's helping to even out your skin tone to make it look nice. And then there are omegas in this. So I love it. I feel like this is kind of like the body version of my favorite Biosense moisturizer for my face. When I have really, really dry spots, especially like if I've gone in with my scrub and you know, like gotten my elbow area or like my knees, any place where I have some really dry patches, especially during the winter time, I like to keep a tube of this on hand. It's the Lolita Skin Food. This is their original ultra rich cream. A lot of people like to use thick balms, like things like Aquaphor or Vaseline on their dry patches, but I tend to think this is really nice. You squeeze a little bit out, it's thick. You warm it up a little bit in your fingertips and then you just apply it where you need it. I've even worn this on my face, you guys, because I think it's that nice. And my skin has been that dry before. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you have really dry skin, this Walita skin food is great to just keep on hand. I love to keep it around because if you really just wanna have like super soft hands or feet, you can put this all over your feet, you can put this on your hands and then just do like a thick layer and then put on some cotton gloves, go to sleep. And when you wake up in the morning, this stuff makes your skin feels super, super duper soft. It's thick, but for some reason it doesn't make your skin feel like it's got a huge layer of something on it. And it costs about 10 bucks. If you're wondering about my feet, I bring all of this down all the way to my feet. I tend to just use the same products all over my body and on my feet. If you do have some really, really dry patches on your feet, if you have major calluses like on your heels or anything or on the sides of your toes, a tip that we got from a podiatrist is actually one of Anna's tips from my team. She got this from a podiatrist and we started doing it. She said to use Vapo rub on the dry patches on your feet and then to just put on a thick pair of socks or something and then sleep overnight and it gets so soft in the morning. I absolutely love that tip because one thing about me is, uh, you guys might not even know this, but I love Vapo rub. I always have tubs of it all over the place. It's like the equivalent of my like Windex, like, um, you know, in my big fat Greek wedding. I use Vapo rub for everything. Like if I'm sick and I've got a headache or something, I can't go to sleep, I put like Vapo rub all over me. Same with feet, if I feel like I'm sick or if I have those dry patches. I like to put vapor rub on my feet. I put it on my toddler's feet when he's sick or not feeling good. I feel like this is a weird 
thing to have like in your body skincare routine, but I use it all the time. It's one of my like go-to products. So that's my current body skincare routine. I think the big takeaways really are, besides just washing and moisturizing your skin, you should really make sure that you're exfoliating your skin. Like I said, I like to use a scrub. I like to have chemical exfoliants, just like I would use on my face. I like to use them on my body and giving it that proper hydration, using those repairing ingredients for the body skin is super important. So I hope you guys got a lot of information from this video. Ask me any questions below in the comments and find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara. Talk to you soon.